Oh, hey everyone. Okay, so this is uh, a workout for you in under 10 minutes. Obviously chest today, right? We're feeling a bit peckish. You can see I'm doing a little cable fly. However, you may not have a thousand pound machine laying around. And if you did, it would have to go in your basement because this has got to be on concrete. So follow me. So obviously we got the blade X and we got the bands. I just kind of set these up ahead of time. Various ways to do push-ups with these, right? So we can do these so many different ways. We can do them vertical, we can do them here, we can do them there, upside down. So let's get right into it. You can use your blades, you can use your knuckles if you want. If you want to beat up your knuckles, that's fine. Otherwise you can just have a perfect ergonomic grip with the blades. So what I do is to come underneath, get the band around, right? I got two of our smaller bands tied together here just to, for, you know, for display. And I, I wanted to use the yellow so you could see them better. It's a little bit light, okay, I admit, but we got our push-ups. Now these are our standard. All right, we're just trying for 10 of those. You can see the grip is much better with these, with this angle, okay? I would say better than most push-up handles, to be honest with you. Um, I really like it, however, what I want to do now is change it up a little bit. We're going to go out wide. What do you call these, Tom, where you go out super wide? Uh, like an iron. A wide push-up. A wide push-up. <laughs> Good. That's a cool name. We'll go with it. All right, now, much harder. All right, but grip is still good. The band comes into play a little bit more because it's stretched out. Oh, much more on the pecs. Uh, Yes, you're getting some shoulder. Yeah. Uh, one more. And, uh, okay. And we go close grip. Feeling these today, folks. I'm trying to keep a little bit of tension in the band. Otherwise, I'd go lower. And I would probably use the blue because I'm using two bands here. So I'd probably use the blue. But we got a blue floor and we got blue blades, so I'm using the yellow for now. And blue pants. And blue, and they're feeling it too. Oh yeah, okay, good. Those are our three push-ups. Now, do those however you can. If you can get 30 reps, that's wonderful. 30 reps on that, that's a workout in and of itself. But, follow me over here. Okay, what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is just some anchor points on a wall and various bands. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do neutral, all right, kind of the midline. We're just gonna do a standard fly, kind of like how you saw me at the beginning, right? All right, all right, so these are tired a little bit. Now, notice my hands are turned a little bit. I'm a little bit pronated in the wrists. That's how I feel it better, okay? I don't need to wrap it like this, big deal. It didn't change the pec action at all. So really what we're trying to do here is come together. If you want to overlap, that's fine too, okay? You can overlap, get a little bit more squeeze out of it. But the key here is get back there, man. Get back there, get that little stretch in there. Yeah. Get there, right there. Good, good range of motion on the shoulders. That's what I'm looking for. We talk, we talk a lot about mobility. Tom and I talk a lot about mobility. Nick and I talk a lot about mobility. Everybody should be talking. Constantly. It's a nice conversation to have, so. It's a nice conversation to have. So let's get it when we're doing our workouts, man. Let's get all the way back there and get those squeezes. Okay, so we got enough on that. This is our 20 pound band right there. We're going up high. All right. We're coming down with the hardest bands. Now, you can use anything here, folks. If you've got a suspension trainer, anchor, these things hook on anywhere. You can hook this thing one, one half to the kitchen counter, the other one to the couch. It doesn't matter. Just find a, find a way to do it. You know, I'm, I'm talking, what, seven feet away, seven feet apart here. So now we're gonna come down with them, right? So it's like you're posing, all right? I'm not necessarily bending over to do this. It's like I'm posing, right? And I can just kind of feel that in a little slightly different area. All right, just getting that squeeze, man. 
All the way up, getting that squeeze. Ah. If you think that you need big weights to accomplish the total package, well, let's have a debate. Let's have a talk. All right, chime in, man. I like the comments. I don't just need the comments like, looking good. Oh, I love your channel. I want the comments like, hey, jerkwad, let's talk about mobility. You wanted to talk about it, right? Let's do it. All right, that's enough. Stop me, okay? All right, I got the little silly ones, but they're tired. So, here we go. Okay, locking in, right? Got my grip. Coming up, no rest for me. Low to high, I better come out a little bit. Come on, I wanna feel these. Oh, yeah. And yeah, this one's good. Stretch, yep. Stretch. Mm, yes. Big time stretch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can't go wrong with these, man. I'm sorry, you just can't. Of course, you can use whatever bands you want. Ah, but these just happen to be the right tension for where I use it. I use it at home. I use it here. Use it on the road. I use them on a camping trip. My goodness. Okay, we're good there. All right. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a ball. Notice that I put the equipment in the description so uh, you can just look there and be ready for your workout. That's kind of why I go right into this thing. So why is there a ball in the description of this workout video? Which, by the way, can you subscribe in the corner? Hit that little button. It looks like two blades like this. Click on it. Subscribe to the channel. Make comments. All right, here we go. So here's what I like to do. Now, you can do this chest workout with your hands, okay? I used to do this with clients a lot. Now, Tom, can you come and kick the ball? Kick it. Yeah, now from another angle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, another angle. Yeah, okay, that sucks. Because my <laughs> wrists hurt, okay? When I was 20, my wrist didn't hurt. But we're gonna lock in, baby. Now, you will not pop the ball. If you pop the ball, I buy you a new one. Or it wasn't a good ball, in which case I don't buy you a new one, okay? We're just gonna use the blades on the ball. Now, I'm gonna lock it in. Now, what I like about this is it's more adduction, okay? This is more horizontal adduction. Adduction, okay? That's the way the pec fibers run, right? That's what we wanna do, a little adduction. Coming on the outside, squeeze the blades in. Now I got my balance, all right? Now you can do some push-ups, okay? Okay, I like to just kinda, I like to just kinda hold it here and then move it a little bit, front to back, side to side, and hold it, oh yeah, a little shake, a little shake, right? A little shake. Tom, come and kick it, man. Come and kick it. Okay, okay, quick, 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 uh, quick, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one more, one more, okay. Oh, baby, okay. Yes, okay, so that's pecs, right? I am feeling peckish, rather peckish. Okay, that's Nick's nine, all right? Now, notice I didn't do much for bench press, decline, okay, incline, but I did. Okay, I did some cable, all right. I could put my feet up, all right, to do the push-ups at more of a decline. Um, I had the bands for more resistance, okay. These are the kind of things you can do to mess with your own workout, all right. Stay tuned for more. I love you all. Let's go. Go! All right, so. Blades again. Now, I know that I've used the dips quite a bit for, for a tricep. Here I'm gonna show you a little bit of a pec exercise with the dips. All right, so here we go, we got the box, okay? My feet are going up on the box. Put the blades like this, we want the angle going downward, away from us, right, towards our feet, okay? I used to use the tape on here for a little grip, okay? All right, now, when I'm doing these dips, all right, and I put the feet up. You don't have to put the feet up. And you should maybe tuck these under the door and do the dips that way. I'm gonna do them freestanding for now. But I can feel the pecs on these. Now I try to go slower here. So I can kind of feel that stretch. And then when I come up, pec squeeze. All right, so I know there's tricep there, but here's the deal. I just worked the pecs quite a bit. So now I'm gonna feel that little bit of squeeze on the end. 
And by the way, whenever you're doing chest, you're getting a little elbow extension, right? So you're getting some sh uh, shoulders and triceps, okay? So the tries are getting finished off here as well. So you should feel those. But really, the pecs are exhausted. So I'm feeling that squeeze. Now you gotta come all the way up. All right, you gotta get all the way down. Butt hits, and then we come up. All right, you can see that little stretch right here. A little pec stretch, a little pec stretch, right? Yeah, baby, oh yeah. So I'm feeling everything. All right, one more. Uh, uh. Oh, but then we need a negative. We gotta have a negative. Uh, right there, peck, uh, okay, got a little peck. I know that's, that's a bonus. I just threw that in there. All right, okay, here we go. On to the next one. 